Hi everyone, uh, Rachel here from Rara Stitching Realm. Welcome to a non-floss tube. Uh, so much as a non-floss tube, whoops, I'm banging the camera again. I haven't even set up, I normally sit over there. I haven't even done that today because this is going to be quick. Um, I have been thinking and it is time for me to stop doing floss tube for a while. Uh, I, stitching is just not what I want to do at the moment. Um, every time I go and do something else, I'm like, I should be stitching and I'm just getting more and more, you know, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. Whereas I don't want my hobbies to be like that. So I'm in a real ebb and flow of hobbies. Oh, I've been making pumpkin soup. <laughs> real ebb and flow of hobbies at the moment my reading disappeared and it is slowly coming back my stitching is going and I think if I just take the pressure off and there is no floss tube and there is no balls and I can just pull something out as and when I want to um, I'm just going to operate like that so as far as um, this channel goes there will be no more floss tubes for the foreseeable future is what I'm going to say because who knows if I take the pressure off who knows what will happen um, my intention is to start each month with a project that is closest to finishing and, and just work on that when I feel like it uh, and hopefully get it finished I think there's a whole multitude of factors going into it and and the changing in caring for my mother following her stroke is certainly part of it. Um, I'm a lot more tired than I used to be because I have to stay up later because she won't go to bed and she can't go to bed without help. And ooh, Mothers. <laughs> so that has a flow-on effect on the day as well. So um, I just think... Stop the stress. Just stop the stress. So, yeah, before I went off on that tangent. So, no floss tube for the foreseeable future. Um, that's the best way to put it. It, it Maybe there'll be one in two months' time and I've got five things to show you. I don't know. Um, or I might come back at the end of the year and kind of talk over the year. I'm sitting on my book, so I can't even tell you. I think I've actually finished two things this year. I know I finished Sarah Watson and I can't think what the other one is off the top of my head. Um... But anyway, um, I'm just going to take the pressure off. I'm not going to worry that I've got to film floss tube and I've got to show you seven things. I'm just going to stitch as and when I feel like it on what I feel like. Um, I'm still going to do quilty tube because that is probably with my reading, quilting is the other thing I'm interested in doing. So there will still be a monthly quilting tube video on this channel. Um, and I won't muddy the waters by showing any cross stitch in it. I know other people do, um, but I'll just... <laughs> if I've got anything really interesting to show you, I'll put it on Instagram. Um, and I'll make sure I've put in the description below my um, name. Because I'm hoping to not put this video through an editing program. So um, I think it's rara's underscore realm but I'll put it in the description. Um, if I've got anything cross-stitchy to show you, I'll put it on Instagram in the meantime. Um, and when I've got enough to do a video, I'll do a video. That's the best way to push it, I think. Um, but Quilty Tube will still go on once a month. <laughs> I forgot that this table makes everything wobble. Um, and what else was I going to say? Susan of Touching the Autumn Sky fame, Susan, can you just re-email me, um, and I'll put the email in the description again in case you don't still have it, just re-email me please, um, so I've got your correct email because I want to get the chart back to you. Um, again, I've, in all my thinking, I'm like, why am I holding on to this chart when I could photocopy the two things that I still use the chart for, which is the symbols on the back and the colour photo on the front. I've already made a working copy of the chart, so I'm not opening and closing it all the time. Um, so I I would really like to get that chart back to you. I think that's another thing that's been on my mind a lot lately. So if you could just re-email me so that I make sure that the email I've got for you is your current email. Um, so yeah, so that's about it really. I'm sorry. I know that a lot of people are like, just hold on and 
you know, there'll be something you can talk about. I'm not a talker. I'm a hermit. Um, you know, I could show you charts, but everybody's showing charts. I don't even, I haven't looked even at what is the latest releases. I don't know what is being released by any of the designers I follow. Um, I'm not up to date on any of my favourite floss tubes. It's just stitching is just, or cross stitching I should say, because I guess um, quilting is a form of stitching. Um, cross stitching is just not my priority. So I'm going to take the pressure off and <clears throat> we might be back with a vengeance or we may never be back with cross tube. Cross tube? Cross stitch. Who knows? I'm not going to say never. I'm not going to delete the channel. I'm not going to delete the videos. I'm just going to pull it back and go with the things that bring me joy at the moment. Um, so there we go. I hope you're all stitching better than I am, which won't be hard because I'm not. I think I've done one length of thread in the last three weeks and that was a presidential blue length of thread. So I shall leave you there. Uh, I've waffled longer than I thought I would waffle. Uh, and I will see those that watch Quilty Tube in about the next week. Uh, in, sometime next week I'll film it. So um, I will see those people there. And if you are not into that and you've only been watching the cross tube, floss tube um, I thank you and uh, I I have absolutely no qualms I don't blame you if you unsubscribe is what I'm trying to waffle out um, so thanks everyone and I will speak to you again sometime soon bye